time to say goodbye to these peppermint shrimp in here who's been destroying everything. So I'm gonna catch them, bring them back, trade them in while our Gatsby is checking out the pantry. Here they come. Gatsby, what are you doing? Okay, I caught one, two to go. What are you doing? Get out of there. The final shrimp does not want to be caught. He's not falling for my little trap here. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Oh, like 20 minutes. That's kind of getting annoying. Come on, shrimpy. The fish keep getting caught inside. Look, there's a dragonette here. The tiny one. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this is how the fish is sleeping. Okay, grabbing my water. I traded in the, um, the shrimps just for water and some alkalinity supplements. I spent an hour and a half trying to capture that one peppermint shrimp and I couldn't catch it. So I only turned in two. That was so frustrating. 10 gallons of seawater. My gosh, that's heavy. I also got this. My supplements over here, alkalinity and calcium. And I have Kemi Pure Elite here, which is like a carbon that I add to the back of the tank. I haven't switched out for a really long time. I wasn't able to get him. Look, the shrimp is still there. I'm doing my water change right now, and Gatsby's looking up like, What are you doing? What is this? <laughs> it's my first pet over here. And everything's all clean again. Do you want to see what I'm working on? Look, what is that? I got my next shipment of bodybuilding.com supplement. Same thing as always, Cyto Gainer, my protein supplement. I got some cell mass, which is the recovery and the pre-workout assault, which I always get a lot because they always have a deal. I got my free water bottle. I don't have this one. This <laughs> it's like one of the only gifts that I don't have from bodybuilding.com, it's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna have to the gym now. I'll see you guys there. Hey dude, you want me to throw this? <laughs> Yay, good job. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, don't tear the box apart. That's your house. Tiny doggy. Looks like the rose bubble tip anemone is having a good day today. It's like nice and vivid. Ooh, beautiful. And the fishies look like they're having fun too. So I'm driving off right now to get a few things at Target. Also gonna stop off at TJ Maxx because I hear that they have a lot of pet supply stuff there. Thought that I would get Gatsby another kind of like pillow-ish bed because the bed that we have, it's a corgi bed, but the problem is that he's, I think he's too young and he's teething and um, unless I'm watching him, he tries to shred it to pieces. And it was in a really expensive bed, so I don't think that um, he's really ready for it. So I think I need to get him something a little bit more puppy friendly. TJ Maxx, it's huge. My gosh. <laughs> I could just get one of these pillows for him too. I can get him like these lounge ones. Oh. <laughs> Okay, these dog toys are really, really cheap. I'm just going through like the whole pile of stuff. <laughs> they have a Serta mattress for the dog. That's crazy. He'll tear this up. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Okay, I might get him these beds, but look, these two are exactly the same, but one of them says $29 and it's usually $80. One of them says $70 and $25. <laughs> I had decided on what I wanted, and then I discovered the pet aisle. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many beds. Ah, oh, I have to look through all these now. <laughs> look, they have the honeycomb hut. He could fit in here, and look, it collapses into a bed. Oh my gosh, there's so many toys here too. Wow, I stayed in there way too long. Anyway, I got him another bed. 
and a toy and some treats off to Target, which just happens to be across the street. Ooh. Grabbing all the cleaning supplies. Gotta get some Lysol. I have a urine destroyer for the dog, but I don't have anything for um, when he poops. And this too. And I guess I need to get Gatsby some kind of toothbrushing thing, because apparently everyone's saying that I need to do it. Okay, I better leave before I spend any more. Okay, it's time to go back home. Uh, I didn't bring my reusable bags today, so I mean, I just had to put everything in the car. Because what happens is in California now, they charge you for bags. The whole point of this is so you can use reusable bags and save the environment. If you want, you can buy a bag for 10 cents for a paper bag. Um, and I hear that next year, they're going to raise it to 25 cents per paper bag. That's so much. But that's, I guess, to force people to like really use reusable stuff. Okay, I'm home. Let's see how Gatsby likes his new bed. The other one is just too nice for him right now. Since he's a puppy, he just tends to tear everything up. Hey, Gatsby. Try it out. Yay, good dog. Is that nice and poofy for you? Yay! <laughs> and you can bite this one all you want because it won't tear. It's super outdoor durable material. Nice. Until you get old enough to be able to use the other one. I also got him this crocodile. It makes a lot of noise. I think I'll give it to him tomorrow. And today for my movie, I got The Wolf of Wall Street. Three hours of awesomeness, hopefully. I'm excited, I haven't seen it before. It was nominated for the Best Picture Academy Award, so I'll let you guys know what I think afterwards. Guess you'll get a nice front row seat, along with my nice spaghetti and meatballs. It's like, what the hell is going on? Is this, uh, is this stuff regulated or are you guys, what are you doing here? Uh, in the same building, I'm just, I'm not. So distracting. How can I even watch a movie? <laughs> You're so funny. He's like playing with his squeaky ball right over here, squeaking it, running all around. This guy on, mm. all right? Like this, okay? What is he doing? What are you doing? And he's not allowed to go outside, of course, until after all the shots, which is two more months. It's super late because it was a three hour movie, so I'm just gonna make it really quick. I really, really loved it. It was really well done. Leonardo DiCaprio's best performance, I think, ever. And that's saying a lot since he has given some incredible performances. I really like the screenplay. Martin Scorsese movies, they're, although they're long, they're edited very well and it doesn't feel that long. It was actually going, it went by really fast despite the fact that some doggy decides it to distract me. Anyway, and I definitely think it's something that's worth watching. My final review for The Wolf of Wall Street out of four stars would be three and a half. Before I go to bed, I was thinking about it and I think that I definitely liked The Wolf of Wall Street enough to give it four stars, four out of four. I was thinking about it, I was like, everything was really, really well done. It was one of the best movies of last year. Definitely one of my favorites. Say goodnight. Goodnight. Oh, look at this puppy. He just got up from a nap, so he's a little lethargic. You're so cute, huh? <laughs> He's so calm. He's such a good dog. He's so well behaved.